Hello all and welcome to our channel. This video is to cover the Corel controllers a little bit more in depth for uh, technicians and of course customers as well uh, that happen to find this video. And basically we're going to be going through all of the parameter settings for the controllers today, uh, specifically for freezers. So here we go. So this is just a dummy controller that we have set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings. To do that, all you do is hold the set key down until you see the letters PS show up on the display. And then you press the set key again, go up to 22. This is your password, basically, to get into the parameters. Push set, and now you're back in it again. And if you press the up arrow, you'll see there's this slash 3. Slash 3 is actually the probe display rate. And what that means is, is see it's set to 1, what that means is, is that there is a one minute lag between the actual temperature change and when the probe actually displays that temperature change on the display. Slash 5 is your selection between Fahrenheit and Celsius. 1 is Fahrenheit, 0 is Celsius. Uh, dash C1 is actually the main probe offset. So if, for instance, your unit is reading 32 degrees and you needed it to read 35 degrees because it didn't match your thermometer inside, you could go in and change this up or down to make the probe match correctly. Uh, these are all set to zero from factory. There is C1 and then the C2 is your secondary probe setting. Same thing, offset. Um, both of those are zero from the factory. RD is your temperature differential. This is set to 6 from the factory. This is basically the unit cools down to 32 degrees and then it goes up to 38 and then it kicks on, cools back down to 32. Um, this is R1. This is the minimum set point. Of course this is a freezer controller so the minimum set point is negative 10. R2 is your maximum set point. Once again freezer controller maximum set point is 5. Um, C0 is the compressor and fan delay after a power up. So basically, this is the uh, the wait time between from powering the unit on to when the compressor actually kicks on, and that's a three minute delay. C2 is the minimum compressor off time. This is normally set to five from the factory, and what this is is basically if the unit reaches its set point and then for some reason goes above the temperature differential within a five minute period, it will wait the entire five minute period before kicking back on and cooling back down. Um, D0 is the type of defrost the unit runs. Um, this is normally set to one from the factory. You can see that one was set to five for some reason, but this is normally set to one from the factory. This is for a hot gas defrost system. Uh, D1, which is the next code, is your interval between defrost and this is in hours. This is normally set to 4 from the factory for the hot gas systems. DT is your defrost termination temperature. This is normally set to 68. You can see this one's not set correctly. So we're going to run it up to 68 and then press the set key and it'll save it and then you just push up again to get to D2 and D2 is your evaporator fan start temp after defrost and this is normally set to 29 so we have to run that all the way up because of course this isn't set correctly we left it like this uh, not set correctly so that you could actually see us changing the codes as we go through them DP is your maximum defrost duration. Um, this is set to 30 minutes from the factory and of course it's already there. DD is the drip time. So after a defrost this is how long it waits before the unit kicks back on and starts cooling. This is normally set to five minutes. This allows for the evaporator to of course drain down and drip off. Um, the next code, which is A0, is alarm and fan temperature differential. Uh, this is normally set to negative 1. Uh, 
so this code deals with the alarms uh, and you don't really have to worry about it too much but of course we set it from for negative one from the factory uh, the AL code which is the next one up is your low temperature alarm threshold um, this is you know if the unit drops below this temperature then it the the controller would alarm uh, we set this to negative 50 from the factory a H is your uh, high alarm threshold we set this to 90 so if the unit goes over 90 degrees the controller will alarm um, a D is your low and high temperature alarm delay this is normally set to zero what this is is basically it's a delay for for instance if the unit goes over the 90 degrees uh, it will instantly alarm but if you set a delay then it'll wait a certain amount of time before alarming a4 is the door switch control uh, this is normally set to six for our magnet door switch units or zero for the older white door switch style units we're going to leave this on zero for now so that it's basically looking at it as it has a white door switch um, a7 is your digital alarm input delay this is normally set to zero and this is basically the same kind of delay as the one that was up above deals with the alarms uh, F0 is your enable evaporator fan control. Um, this is normally set to one from the factory. This way it will allow for it, you know, the, the controller to uh, control the evaporator fans during the compressor off cycle. If it's set to zero, then the fans will just run all the time. F1 is uh, the evap fan control set point which uh, is normally set to 41 on our controllers F2 is the stop evap fan if compressor is off setting and this is normally set to 2 F3 is your evap fan status during defrost this is normally set to one on our hot gas systems or freezers in general freezers in general we set it to one this turns off the evaporator fan if it was set to zero the evaporator fan would run during defrost uh, FD is your post drip time so this is the amount of time that the evap fan waits after your defrost so unit comes out of defrost it waits the defrost drip time and then it kicks on well when it kicks on um, this would delay the fans even longer to allow the evaporator to get cold before the fans kicked on uh, we normally have that set to zero so that everything comes on at the same time f4 is your fan delay time uh, this is in zero as well because we don't want it to delay uh, F5 is your fan on time when the compressor is in an off state and this is normally set to one from the factory so the fan will run for one minute and then F6 is your fan off time and it's normally set to five from the factory so the fan will be off for five minutes and this is only when the compressor is in the off state and it's uh, it's used for saving power primarily F7 is your fan delay time after the door closes so this is in seconds it's normally set to 10 and what it is is once the door closes it gives it a 10 count before it kicks the fans back on and starts circulating the air F sorry F8 is your fan forced to start time during door open and this is in minutes and it's normally set to five and what it is is it's it's when the door is open if the door is open for five minutes or longer the fan will forcibly start and run even though the door is open but normally when you open the door the fan turns off now this is the last code to save the codes that we changed all you have to do is hold the set key for three full seconds and it'll click back over to your set point 
after you've done all of this, it's always good to power the unit off with the main power switch and then power the unit back on to save. We'll pass that. Um, that's how you set up the controllers. And hopefully this video is informative to everybody, and y'all have a wonderful day.